Welcome back, we are watching more Hunter x Hunter, and if you haven't been able to tear your eyes away from the previous episode, well, things aren't exactly going well. Gon is presumably emaciated after his big energy expenditure. The king has returned to the palace, consequently knocking out both Nokwa and Melio, or the chameleon dude. Which would only mean that the cargo and palm are now on the run to make sure they're not captured as well. But hey, at least the royal guards, those that are still alive, are trying to make it into a little competition to make sure he doesn't regain the memories of Kamugi, to make sure that he doesn't change at all from his duty as the king. I wonder how that would go, out, go for them. Hmm. Should we find out? And also, yeah, being told that we have a new file of people coming in to get selected. Uh, this queue is disastrous. As they... As they, as they slowly fall in line there, the... Ah! Because Nifatola has gone down, all of her puppet soldiers, yeah, just instantly gone. As soon as you saw each and every one of the soldiers just suddenly slump over and disregard their duties, I might take that as a I'm off home. This is going a, a lot harder than it should have been for him. We make the yeah, connect the dots there. If she's had to call back the puppets. Well, looks can be deceiving, especially when you're when you're the main character. His time really is running out. Whether or not it's actually going to be spent trying to take down Kamugi or facing up to what he's been doing to the king with withholding certain information. Also, when we saw Kirua carry Gon, did we see him with two arms or one? I'm just... not all overly worried, because by the time... There it is, yeah. Uh, by the time we see... Gone and Kira actually make it back and they were at least happy to have a, have a conversation with each other. I don't think Gone is gone completely from being having all of his energy and life burned away. But there is definitely a payment to pay, just how succinct and severe it will be. Oh. An animated initial transition. Deadline to live. Curious, but who does that apply to? Yep. I mean, they are so... Where, where would they go? And of course, explaining her would be slightly easier. But him? Ah, they did actually go back and form. And Bloster. Hmm. 
Mm, likely. <laughs> Go ahead. The fact he's just being so forthright about it. I mean, he's dead one way or another, whether it will be years from now or a few minutes. He might actually be able to reach the pedals. Even if he has to prod at him with his crutches. It's not worth it. We've got better targets to be keeping an eye on. <laughs> the story that he was be being told back in the security room. Never understand. Is Zycon? Was that a, a name from before? He knows a lot more than what <laughs> what would one would expect. Have the same sort of history. Ah. He remembers that much, at least. The bond from before, stronger than what it currently is. And the fact they've been working quite well together. Hmm. Maybe they could start anew. I do hope that Wolfen actually makes it out and uh, contacts someone without suffering any extreme consequences. Is it just a feeling, or did he find something? Hmm. He just wouldn't be able to accept it. Ha. Huh. I hear he would either have been another ant, or found his way out. Either way, there's a likelihood that you might be able to come across him, whether or not he'll remember his life before. It needs a little little prod. You've got to love Ikago and his somewhat confidence when it comes to things like this. What was that? <sighs> Is he coming down with a cold? He needs to stop smoking. So they have gone from... So, you, yeah, just leave them out there. So you'll see what's going on. You're fucked. It's up to your own discretion is what you want to do. Uh, run, hide. Go back down the tunnels. But also letting them out now, if he's now going out to... Uh, to confirm with uh, the king himself or... A royal guard, yeah, probably best the, they're not decimated along with the truck as well, in case that's an outcome. So 
Suddenly, a truck. That would seem suspicious. That has some decent brakes. Possibly? He looks a little different than, than he used to. Would he want to pass it on himself or let Welfin go and deliver it? Would the king be so generous as to accept that or just go in and collect the woman himself? And also, would UP want to deliver this message? This is just a coincidental turn of events. He is coughing a lot. Maybe uh, squeezing himself out down the king's throat. It wasn't for his... Best interests. Ah. Can he hold himself together long enough to uh, go search for Jaro? Was the hatred stemming from it all? Well. If no is the answer, well, nothing can be done, I guess. Is he going to ask him again? Ah. You have five seconds. <laughs> he does not like this uh, insolence, but Wolfen, good on you. Somehow my tinnitus has just sprung up, but somehow my consideration that Wolfen would survive this encounter has slightly gone up if we've got bleeding from the nose and extreme coughing. But what's been slowly attacking Yupi from from within? Leave no stone unturned. Something that Poof f failed to do in his speed. Make sure everything was cleaned up. What if... What if a bit of uh, ceiling concealed something that was hidden? If he found a game piece... He must have been fighting someone. Now just to bring it together, who was it? One that he is so thoroughly victimized by when it comes to me. Oh. Is Poof going to start um, slowly bleeding as well? If so, it's either a case of them splitting off and feeding each other, doing some weird 
side effects of it amongst themselves. Or maybe the nuke did a little more than we we would have expected. There's uh did we ever take into consideration the radiation? Definitely not what I expected to see right there, but we must have had a really powerful opponent. It's good you didn't overwrite that so you could see this. We're down one more. He uh, might not be up for conversation right now. <sighs> we see he's recreated a little, little board down there. I was about to say, does that mean he's won this little contest they had? Or was the game that was being played just before Dragon's Dive hit the palace, the king was actually going to win that 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 game? They've been able to pick out that much through limited information. Yeah. Uh, it would be quite difficult. Is that how does this sickly little girl mean have such an issue? Would be a, such an issue to the king. Hmm. <laughs> so that would be what the little transition screen was for. The. Brief. Oh, yeah. This is too much for him to think about right now. And with there being one of the Royal Guards currently still in action, the one that is most against this little human, It's good that they don't have much else to do other than just sit by her bedside and wait. Why would it have taken him so long? Why is he not jumping in? Which means there is... Okay. She was ever so slightly concealed. She didn't know... He didn't know what she was carrying there. But there is no consequence to follow. But how long is it going to be before the king does another blast of N to... Uh, come down... Offer to make an exchange still. And where is the only place amongst here where the king wouldn't have access to? Hmm.
She said it in such definitive terms as well. The, f the fact that she s foresaw what happened with UP, maybe she's aware of something there. Uh, thank you for not leaving until like next episode to explain. Cool. How are you so sure on this fact, though? Explain to us like we're a squid. The flower. The miniature rose. So it was that line of thinking that I had the lingering effects from the explosion. Let's hope they don't forget which box they put her in. And what happens if both of them were to perish? It's a dangerous ploy, one that is using... Huh. One could make that argument and one would almost be entirely correct. Humans are quite deadly, especially in this world. Whether or not it's a... Uh... <laughs> yeah, he's suffering as well. It was only a matter of time. Yeah, but humans in this world are quite deadly, whether or not it's technological advancement or just through sheer Nen power. They can shape the world as they see fit. I don't know what the king was trying. So... Now it's a waiting game. Kind of like back when we were waiting for Knuckle and the APR to affect UP before, but this time much more definitive and Knuckle can't really just be disabled. If the king... If UP has already fallen... I was trying to think, why would UP fall sooner if it was from the effects of the um, the miniature rose? He dived into it to go collect the king, didn't he? Whereas Poof was just flying above it. Maybe that would explain a, the slight time difference. Especially the, the size difference, the fact he split and re, reconstituted. Uh. Now the main thing, this conversation you're having the king, the back and forth, the exchange, is he going to meet her? This entire exchange here, you know, sure we've had battles before, you know, tests of power, who's the strongest, but then you've got The complete opposite, what you'd expect for like a final fight, a final battle, what we were kind of planned for the chairman and the king to descend into nuclear warfare and then the fallout from that, the slow burn of the, it's, they're not going out with a bang, but not even a whimper, a slow, slow decay being eaten from the inside. Main question here is though, is the king going to regroup with Kamuki before the end? Or is it going to be bittersweet? And if he actually does, 
are we going to think are the the hunters going to think that they might have made the wrong move if the king had carried on the trajectory of which he had thought about considering Kamugi could things have been so much different I would like to know exactly the extent of Welfin's exchange with UP before he fell how much did he glean from him asking the uh, the correct questions and whatnot It's intriguing because everything what you would expect from this kind of battle anime type thing is being not turned completely on its head, but going about it in ways that I don't think I've seen before or even thought of before. Disregarding a final conflict for a slow demise, having you, much like pretty much every other antagonist that has come across in Hunter Hunter getting to feel for the origin of the um, of the particular ones granted how we immediately got to see the king and his actions up pretty much all the way until he met Kamugi were despicable so there's not really a a way back in a way of oh maybe he was alright no but at least you can see that there was a slight change. But with Welfin and Ikago, to some extent Bloster and maybe others, we had a history together. We were once uh, friends in the same organisation. We knew each other. Let us try and uh, do right by our old lives. Try and finish this off properly. Is the boss that you cared so much for still alive and around? Is there a way of meeting up again? Can they now that they're on the side of the, the humans in the Hunter Association live normal lives or are they still going to be a little questioned and shunned? I guess we're going to have to find out. And will anything, if anything, change upon uh, Killua's return? We can have some choice uh, choice words. What about the fate of Nefpato? Are they going to find out what happened? There were some cool characters and interactions and they were above... They went above what they were kind of initially inscribed as. UP, I think, being a grand example, grew more than you would have expected for something. It's just someone like that. Oh. The slight ringing in his ears, the memories starting to trickle back to him. When, he, if he gets to see her face, just what kind of emotions will, uh, will run through him? And if Poof is to also succumb to the same coughing and bleeding that Yupi did, what about all the humans that are under his persuasion? Are they just going to suddenly snap out of it? Or is it going to be more of a, after six to eight hours, they'll, they'll eventually uh, awaken? And of course, what about all the current eggs? Can we just slice them open? See if they're still viable as people? Or wait for it to hatch and then see what's a... Uh, if the if the killing instinct is ingrained or taught. Well, so what ever happened to the one with the like the weird bunny hat thing and the peach dress and then the I think it was the director and the the other ant head one. Did they actually make it out? Did we see what happened there? Hmm. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed Hunter Hunter. Some questions raised in your heads. If you know what's coming up in the future, keep it to yourself. <laughs> but if you are expecting some good things, you may want to stick around. If I've entertained you, consider leaving a like on the video, maybe a comment down below, maybe even subscribing, because that would really, really help me out. But join to my Discord. 
And most importantly, whether you're coughing or not, well, especially if you're coughing, take some rest. Because I want to see you in the next one. If you want to be the returning memories and make sure that I never forget what I'm doing, and in this case it would be watching anime, consider joining onto my Patreon. Lead me back onto the correct path. And I guess with that, I need to thank Noku, Raywin, Sal, Trayvon, Shiwan, Akani, Guado, Tori Jane, Kite, Lightwizard91, Mega42, Diego, Zenhausen, SZ9870, Croyville, Maxwell, and everyone else. Because with my memory, I think I need as much help as possible.